Hi, today we would like to present you the final version of the Bill of Materials Management tool, which we finally managed to, to, to finish. Uh, basically, this is the tool that allows you to calculate the production time, the total cost, and the fixed costs of, for the production of your goods. The application is totally created in Excel, so it will not be any problem for you to get use of it. So actually, there are four worksheets uh, in this workbook, and um, I'm going to describe you why they are present here. So basically, the first one is the settings worksheet. It, uh, it allows you to define the display mode and the indentation type of your hierarchy of uh, your products. Well, basically, I'm talking about this hierarchy. The BOM worksheet or the Bill of Materials worksheet is the, actually the database worksheet which um, contains all the relevant data about your raw materials, the components and, fin and final products. Uh, the relationship between the raw materials and components and uh, the final products are displayed in the are defined the parent mode uh, uh, style. That means that, for example, the, in order to create the subproduct 1, you need to process material 1, material 2, and material 5. The process time column indicates the number of minutes necessary to spend for the processing of the material 1 in order, in order it to become the subproduct 1. The amount is um, the amount of uh, raw material or the component uh, necessary for it to become the subproduct one after the uh, process after being processed, and the acquisition cost uh, indicates the cost of acquisition of raw material, uh, of one unit of, of raw material. Uh, the acquisition cost is applied only for the raw materials, and uh, as in this case, uh, raw material one has uh, two acquisition costs. Um, However, only the first uh, entry will be will be used by the program. The fixed costs is actually the um, worksheet which allows you to define the fixed costs uh, that uh, your company incur on the monthly basis. Probably they are the energy, labor, administration, and other costs. And these costs will be allocated on the uh, different components and final product based on the process time allocation driver. And uh, so the final um, the worksheet, the results, uh, the analysis worksheet which displays the results uh, of uh, the uh, calculations uh, for all your um, products and uh, components. And uh, this is uh, the whole hierarchy of all your products. Uh, together with their uh, components. Basically, you can change the uh, way of the presentation of the hierarchy in this way. You see better that product one consists of uh, these raw materials and these components, which in turn consist of these raw materials. You can also see that the product one uh, costs um, 750 Six, uh, 66 uh, conventional units, uh, one piece of product one, and in order to create that one piece you will uh, have to spend 70 minutes of the, process, of the processing time. And uh, the, out of all the fixed costs, uh, 66 uh, conventional units uh, are applied to, are allocated to the product one. And um, basically, the product gives provides you uh, with uh, some uh, additional functions. They are, for example, the drill down function. So you can uh, see, for example, the detailed information about the sub product one component, about its uh, production time and total cost. The drill up uh, uh, function, which will find you all the products and components where which. Uh, have uh, uh, material one as the uh, raw material. The refresh uh, function, which will refresh the, cur the current uh, hierarchy if you damage somehow the table. The display primary will display you all the uh, primary raw materials which your company works with. 
and uh, basically they display all uh, function which will re refresh the whole hierarchy of all your products which your company works works with them you can also change the way uh, your hierarchy is displayed for example you can switch from the table view into the hierarchy view and uh, uh, the program will try to create somehow uh, this somehow uh, a tree which will uh, display better the hierarchy concept and uh, you can also change the indentation type for example you can switch from the symbols uh, indentation type to the levels indentation type and now you can see better that uh, uh, product one uh, can say contains uh, these raw materials and uh, for example product uh, uh, 41 uh, contains only these raw materials etc well this is it thank you very much for your attention and feel free to use our application thank you very much